Morning. This is Arnie Waters. If you're not going to be happy today, what day exactly are you going to be happy? Gold is trading off dangerously near the 1630 point, which we pointed out to you yesterday that the Fibonacci bands are suggesting is the major support point. And as a consequence, uh, if gold breaks below 1630, we could see an even more dramatic drop in price. Uh, as we indicated to you the other day, uh, there's been a 12% cut in interdealer trading in London, uh, and there's been no retail uh, buying to support an upward move. So with outside markets being in difficult spot for gold, we expect gold to be in for some tough sledding, but gold has always climbed the wall of worry. And there's a tremendous amount of worry in the system today, and that's going to be great for gold, certainly by the end of the year, if not by the summer. Secondly, the United States Republican Party seems determined to repeat the situations that are occurring in Europe. The whole system that the Republicans are now offering through the House Republicans is exactly what has caused the European crisis. Crunch government spending, cut entitlements, and cut taxes for the wealthy. It's very interesting that so few people will benefit from the Republican program, and so many people are supporters of the Republican program. One of the brilliances of the Republican approach is that it has been able to convince people to vote against their own proven best interests. Next, we're going to talk a little bit about rare earths. A frontier rare earths has indicated that it will be in production by 2015. This is a very significant movement in the uh, sub-Saharan rare earth area and a sign that one of our early picks, Frontier, has done very well indeed and is likely to continue to do so. One of the themes we brought up the other week that we hadn't spoken of in a while is the, the solid nature, as it were, of uranium investing. Uh, the United States has approved two new nuclear power plants, both to be in Georgia, uh, as we had long indicated that the, the, uh, that there are because that after the Fukushima event, uh, there were no reductions. This is the first addition in the United States since Fukushima. And as, as I said before, two new plants. Secondly, in the uranium area, uh, the Indian power minister has stated flatly that, uran that nuclear power will grow 14-fold uh, over the next 20 years. And this leads us to our final point in uranium, that there is quite a likelihood of the world having a uranium shortfall by 2016. Already, the world is using about 190 uh, million pounds versus production of 118 million pounds. And this, cri this shortfall is expected to become a crisis by 2016. And again, this is our, one of our signs that you want to be long uranium uh, starting pretty soon. Uh, we think uranium prices will more than double uh, over the next 18 to 24 months from their 52-55 level of today. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. Have a super day and take a serious look at your life if you're not having a lot of fun. Enjoy. Thanks.